glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Ormengander's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay... well... A lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. Chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! What are you looking at me for? I gave you the fancy bowstring. True. Go for it. So, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. <sighs> Accidental magic's not all. I sort of... turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. Then I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Jump him! Yes! Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. <sighs> We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarfing. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. <sighs> anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? 
They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Siapa! <laughs> Sindri? Harsh words. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. You want my help or not? All right, all right. Stop him! Stop it! Sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we tried. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all.
this keep you up or anything. Good talk. <coughs> Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Door's frozen. Maybe I can. Would you just let me do it? So, what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. So close. Oh, dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet vessel, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire, Please. Just keep going. Are you sure the 
this is a good idea. You haven't got a plan. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. Okay. Now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. that. things if he just trust me how can I trust you if you lie actually that's a good point <gasps> maybe if you listen to me could I not say the same well where do you think I learned it from Going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me?
I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Ugh, nightmare. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts! Huh? Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Yep, that's the door. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. Should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? 
Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, <clears throat> nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us! Offered peace if we don't move against him! Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Tear is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartal Farm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father.
Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. It's a good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's going to help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh, I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Jump up! I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll leave. Standing back here! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Oh! Uh. Ah. Did they ever quit? Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? 
Now. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <sighs> so I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, who are I planning our next move? Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are. Seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the Seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. Hmm. 
more for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that interest he'll see for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. This will be of use. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? 
Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the Light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? 